Welcome, friends. Today I want to share with you some words of the disciples in Matthew chapter 8. This is what they say of Jesus. What sort of man is this that even winds and sea obey him? These are things that they said to one another right after Jesus calmed a great storm on the Sea of Galilee. They thought they were going to die. They were in a boat. It was being swamped. Jesus was actually there with them, but he was asleep. He was so tired from his hours of ministry leading up to that, that he found it possible to simply sleep in the midst of a storm. Meanwhile, the disciples thought they were going to die. They cried out to the Lord. He woke up. He spoke to the wind and the waves. They immediately calmed down. And so the disciples said to one another those words that I just shared with you. What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves, the sea, they obey him. And of course, their estimation of Jesus was correct, that there wasn't anyone else like him. Which says of him that, yes, he is a man. He's flesh and blood. He, he lived and ate and slept and did the kinds of things that human beings do. But at the same time, he was also completely God and continues to be completely God. This is the God who lived and died and rose again from the dead so that all people might have their greatest fears resolved because at the end of the day, what was it that the disciples were afraid of there? They were afraid to die. And that's what Jesus came and took care of. He took care of this whole problem of death, everlasting condemnation, separation from God, that greatest fear. Jesus came and he resolved that issue he gave his life so that we might have life, so that we would not even need to fear death itself. Who is this person, Jesus? Well, he's not like anyone else. He's our God. Yes, he's both man and completely God all at the same time. And for that reason, he's the one that we want to follow, isn't it? He's the one who has called us to be his disciples, to deal with the storms of life, trusting that he is with us and trusting that he's able to calm our fears and calm the storms around us. And that is what he does. That doesn't mean that he takes care of all of our problems immediately, that life is going to be easy. We know it isn't, that our Lord is with us in all of it, perfectly able to lead us through all those things that would threaten us and lead us to eternal life. And that, my friends, is what he does for you. It's what he does for me. Trust him to continue to do that. Trust him that he gave his life for you and gives you eternal life. And he will do it. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are with us in the storms of life. When times are calm, when times are rough, you are there, present with us all the time. Forgive us, Lord, for forgetting that, for being afraid. And help us instead to trust in you, fully confident that you are there with us no matter what, and that you give us life, life that lasts forever. We pray these things, Lord Jesus, in your name. Amen. God's blessings and peace be to you.